Hey guys, and Sorry. welcome back to my fourth episode of my playthrough of the Witcher 3 DLC, Blood and Wine. Where the game is being held. So the we just realized... A unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a what? phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can Your deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. Mean we need to find those things too. We've no other option. Oh boy. But time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. So in the last episode, we left off trying to save Milton, so we apparently have to figure out where he is, and even the Duchess herself doesn't board. know, so we're we have here. to find all these stupid things um, that'll clue us into where he is, and we're gonna break the rules or whatever. Basically, the out. he's the fourth target out then of the five total, so we're gonna try to prevent him from dying. Um, you will get not too hopeful, the horn and but the <laughs> fish. Let's see what we can do. Well, I nap the phoenix egg. What? That will be quickest. Does she not realize that I don't know what any of this means? Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, Geralt. It's not a real fish. Look there. Towards the water. See the lights? The hunters are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. Okay. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. Is it a real unicorn? It runs around over there. Look. The Colton fish and the I didn't horn see a horn, this looks like a white horse. That will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Okay, well shit. Um okay, if the unicorn is skittish, that's easily fixed with Axie. Um uh, make it calm down. But as far as diving in to get a golden fish. I mean, Witcher senses, yes, but I'm sure it's not going to be the first one we see. Okay, you know what? Let's go for this unicorn. I want to see if they just have, like, a paper horn taped onto a poor horse, or if this is an actual thing here. It looks like they just strapped on a horn. We would not be in this predicament, dear sister. Were you still a virgin? What the fuck? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. How does he know? <laughs> well, how's that any of his folks, business? Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? Geralt of Rivia. You gonna pop it with Axie? Come on, Axie it. Don't just try to grab the horn, it's gonna run away. <laughs> really? We're a witcher for a reason, we can use Axie. Damn it. Come on, stay calm. I think I got it. Yep, Axie worked. Shh, calm down. Easy now. We just Oh wait, we didn't grab the horn? Maybe it was an actual unicorn they just taped it to well, its actual that's horn. Fair. Flagrant cheating is what it is. I'm just gonna ask you them too. Must teach this scamp some proper I don't have time. I'm trying to save someone's life here, dude. Listen, I didn't break any rules. True. He won fair and square. We were unlucky, that's all. We must try to grab the next clue. I'm about to go get that one too, and I'm probably gonna have to ask you guys again because I'm I'm gonna cheat. Gardens are huge. Be better off on horseback. Uh, I don't see Roach, so let's take a fucking unicorn, yeah. Complete collapse of social norms. Social norms, really? You guys are complaining about that? I think you guys have bigger issues, like what I presume is some kind of higher master vampire. Killing all of your knights that you seem to think espouse your crucial, critical values, like your culture. Okay, let's just center up here. Let the unicorn go, and let's hop in the water. Yeah, I tend to do that a lot. Oh, I'm a peasant, huh? Totally just a peasant. Is this the right one? Oh, shit! Did I just That's really guess the right one? Form, Do something. What exactly? 
Am I to jump in the water? I completely just guessed. You know, typically games make the correct one the furthest one away, but I'm very shocked that the first one I went to was the ah! correct one. So, I mean, that works. Okay. So, what, all the way up the super windy path for the horse that doesn't want to cooperate to get back up to the Duchess? I hope she actually managed to get the Phoenix egg. Oh, we're gonna have to solve a riddle. I hate riddles. Maybe she can do it. I'll just be like, oh, I don't know, and then make her do it. It means her culture. If you please, your grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. Or shall be explained later. But it's against Give it the to rules. her. She makes I the damn rules, you idiots. Oh, I like her. <laughs> Geralt, at last. Got a key and a clue. And I've another. Show me yours. <laughs> Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. What? This makes no sense. I don't know. Too cryptic, this riddle. Got no idea what it's talking about. Then be silent and let me think. Look. I'm completely okay hollow. with that. Hollow it out and fill it with ease. The letters, that is. You get green. Then mouse. But starting no, with you get head, green. Hot cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm. Pretty clever. And it sounds right to me. There are several greenhouses in the gardens, but only one with a door that locks, and the key to it looks just like the one we found. Greenhouse it is, then. Let's go. Alright, okay, but if you haul out green, you leave the G in the N, two E's makes a Gein. How are we supposed to know we're uh, supposed to leave the R? You should probably hang back so you don't get killed, too. Oh, she, she has some attitude. <laughs> Wait, that looked like a monster dead on the ground. Yeah, look at the spikes. There's a monster dead on the ground, and now we're chasing after... Oh, uh, it's totally a vampire. Look how long his claws are. What the hell? They're huge. What was that? Oh, sh holy shit. I wish I could do that. That's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Geralt? Geralt? Okay. Carol, I'm not sure if you know what pole vaulting is, but this is not how it's typically done. Uh-oh. Wait. There's no way I fight it here and now. This is only my fourth episode into the Let's Play of the DLC. And you can't kill me, because, you know, you can't kill Geralt. Then you have no game. I'm here. Now that is a really evil voice. This belonged to you, maybe? <gasps> it did. Oh, vampires you regenerate. I have a new one. That makes I sense. I do not know you. I've done you no harm. Yet first you butchered a Bruxer who was dear to me. Now you pursue me. Why? You've killed four innocent people. At least. And you. Is he How in his human form right now, and that's why his claws down. are gone? Uh, I'm not really sure how to respond to this. Not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. <laughs> Is it as simple as that? I mean, I'm a witcher, I so kind of. ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left. Oh no, did he kill Milton? You'll not get the chance. Oh boy. I hope I have some vampire oil ready to go. Let yep. Kill again. Oh shit. Okay, because he does that disappearing thing. I'm basically going to have to take into account that I'm going to get hit because my. 
Oh, this may not work. Hold on, let me try. Holy shit, that worked out really well. Oh shit, I forgot they regen. So I have to out-hit his regen? But they're not gonna let me kill the actual beast this early on. So I have to get him as he's attacking me, otherwise, holy shit, can he block every one of my hits? That's impressive. Oh, I saw you go for that power hit. That ain't gonna work on me. Uh-uh. And whoosh. Up. Oh. Okay, I think I got a couple hits in there. Just he keeps regening. Okay, I, I need to pop a potion here. Really? How did that not hit him? Bullshit! And I can't see what his stamina is, so I'm not sure if when I'm making him block, it's actually wearing him out or not. Oh, thank god I have Superior Swallow. Very, very useful right now. Whoa, okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I currently have uh, an Ekimara decoction on. Which heals me for the damage I do to him, or some percentage of it. Okay, come on. They're really gonna let me kill the monster? Unless there are multiple of them or something? This is literally just a pattern right now. I need to let him hit. Okay. Nope, I got one hit in. Ow. Oh, double ow. Shit, okay. Come on, get the critical damage in. They're not even bleeding, which is surprising to me. Oh shit, my vampire oil's gone. Oh, and I need to fix my chest plate and my sword? Damn. Okay, come on. Stop regening. Come on. Oh my god. He just blocks everything. He's really good. And I'm not sure there's anything else I can do that'll work better. Oh shit, did I get him? Oh no, he's about to go stealth mode and kill me. Oh, fuck. Wait, is that the vampire we just saw dead? You are to stay where you are. Wait, he's in human mode, though. Regenerate. I know you're in trouble. I can help. Who is this I'll guy? Help myself. He has a hand through his heart. What the fuck? No, he's my friend. What the hell? That guy must be a vampire since he's regenerating. Okay, so we saw him dead on the ground in vampire, like his natural form, I guess, and then he regen. Yes, Geralt, it's me. You know me? Regis? I, I guess we know each right. other. All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. Uh, he's definitely a vampire. How's this even possible? Last I saw you, we. I was a bubbling, shapeless smear. Oh, I guess we're really good friends. Having spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. Hardly peak for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance to apologize. This must have been in either Witcher no, 1 don't. or Witcher 2. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. So this guy melted against a castle and somehow regenerated that's that's amazing <laughs> miraculous regeneration how do you manage it i had help from the one you hunt him how and what have you been doing all these years not the time nor place for such stories 
I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. Right. Uh, <laughs> I need to kill your friend, Local dude. The <laughs> serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I've come? It shall not be easy, as Detlaf can be rather stubborn. Though you must oh, certainly recall his name that is I, I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't More exactly bestial? done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport. <laughs> or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. Interesting choice of words. Um... Eh, might as well find out. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. What does he have against... Guy. What does he personally have Despite against the four knights that he's killed? To look quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. He's not being forced to kill these knights, though. At least I don't think he is. Remember and he has one more target. That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. That was a fiend? And thus, a legend was born. Huh. That does not seem like a very incompetent poacher if he fell asleep next to his snares when this beast who'd killed 200 people was about. But... Huh. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort I like this guy. My body. Detlaf found what was left. What's As Vilgefort's? Per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life much more than that the act itself made us blood brethren a bond so strong humans cannot even imagine which is why i know something ill is afoot always had an overdeveloped huh. sense of empathy <laughs> each vampire has a unique talent and yours is empathy over centuries it's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify dead love's trump card is his herd instinct his tribal propensity in so he does fact, have an army of lesser vampires. Of lesser vampires oh, yep. and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. I hope it wasn't me. No, it would have been me. He would have killed me already. Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men. Their world, its rules, its conventions. He clearly doesn't care about them either. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. I'm not sure if there are any rules about allying with vampires but i really like this guy and having a vampire who can help me take out another vampire doesn't sound like a bad idea <laughs> gotta find him before something upsets him even more and all beauclair is awash with blood well we share a cause then just like the old days not entirely i mean when i find him you know i know you've a contract on his head 
Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? But he only has oh, one no. more target. Sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer you need to hide. Find me here. I'd make shift quarters at Mela Shays Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Can you just dissipate? That is awesome. I want to be able to do that. That's so cool. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still <laughs> investigating. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. <clears throat> Sus, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. <sighs> but I liked Milton. I still don't understand what he did. Was he not courageous at some point? Like, I just don't... The other three murders I understood, but the fourth one, I don't really see how this could possibly, like, piss off. Oh, wait, is this giving us information on these two... I think it is. Interesting. So... Characters. I've clearly not read through any of these ever. Let's read about Detlaf. Okay, so he's just a higher vampire and Regis stopped the battle. So I, what I really want to know is why Geralt is friends with Regis. Okay, I found the log for Regis. This is very, very long. So, Geralt chased Sir Milton's murderer with mad intensity. How this chase ended stands as clear witness to the fact Geralt was facing a highly dangerous foe. The killer led Geralt to an old warehouse where it set a trap for him. A fight ensued, and at a crucial moment, Geralt was saved by Regis, a higher vampire and old friend. Here I must explain that, years ago, Regis had joined Geralt's band of fellow travelers, of which I was a proud part, and set off with us in search of Ciri. Wait, really? He was part of the group searching for Siri, and it what? I'm not aware of this. Okay. Together we lived through many fascinating adventures, and Regis proved himself a loyal friend, the kind you can trust with your life. Sadly, the expedition ended tragically for Regis. He was killed by Vilgefortz, who reduced him to nothing more than a wet stain. Okay, I need to figure out who Vilgefortz is. Hence the Witcher's immense surprise at encountering his old friend. After all, he had seen Regis die with his own eyes. But the thing is, that was not Regis's final death, nor even his first. As a young man, Regis had been a bit of a free spirit and had overindulged in the drinking of blood. This lifestyle led him to being butchered by angry villagers. Regenerating from that took him 50 years, or nearly no time at all for an immortal. <laughs> oh, wow, I guess they are immortal, huh? When he was back in full health, he kicked the habit of blood drinking for good. For years, we'd all thought he was gone forever, yet there he was, standing in front of Geralt in that dockside warehouse. If he doesn't drink blood, how does he survive as a vampire? Huh. Regis explained he had regenerated and come to Toussaint to find Detlaf a friend. Since such were the dramatic circumstances bringing Regis and Geralt together in Beauclair. They did not have long to enjoy their reunion, however. They could hear others approaching, and Regis, not wanting to risk an encounter with angry humans, agreed to meet back up with Geralt at the cemetery where he had made an altogether comfortable temporary home for himself. Okay, so I highly doubt Vilgefortz is just going to be listed there under V. Nope, he is not. So maybe we don't actually have anything for him in the character thing to figure this out. But that's an interesting background. And apparently uh, Regis is a really good dude. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.